My name is Eugene Zhang, and I'll tell you my story since last eight months. Eight months ago, I jumped off the fourth floor of a building to kill myself. I was only 17 years old. I thought everything would just end with no pain. But I didn't die. I lived. I was in extreme pain. I never felt such pain in my whole life. I could see my cell phone right in front of me. A few minutes earlier, I wanted to die. But now, I was desperate to call 119. My only thought was that I want to leave. Luckily, they came in time to save me. From a very young age, I felt different from the other kids around me. I didn't know how to talk to others. I was rejected by classmates. I was an outsider. I always felt alone. I just wanted a friend, but I was bullied every day with no reason. I didn't know why. I became very negative. I wanted to die. When I got to middle school, the bullying stopped. But still, I had no friends. I just focused on studying. It was the only thing I was good at. Studying became everything. My life had no other meaning. Other students just saw me as a nerdy student. I was invisible to them. So I never got close with anyone. Teachers just told me to study so I can go to a good university. So I just studied. I didn't care of myself. I didn't try new things. I didn't know what I liked to do. And I never learned what makes me happy. In high school, things got worse. There was so much pressure to study. I felt I would die from the weight of all my stress. It drove me to commit suicide. When I jumped from the building, I seriously injured my spine and hip. I had emergency surgery immediately, but I couldn't move at all. It was so painful. I called the nurse. I needed pain medicine. I couldn't bear it. Just the day before, I was able to do anything. Simple things like sitting on a chair were impossible. I had to stay in bed and do nothing for what felt like forever. The idea of staying in bed like for the rest of my life made me lose all motivation for living. One day, the doctor came in and said, Luckily, the bone fragment didn't touch any of your nerves. Somehow, you avoided paralysis. It was unbelievable. I found hope again that I would be able to walk one day. Once you hit rock bottom, there's only one way to go. Every day, I got better. I felt less pain each day. The more I was able to move, the more encouraged I got. As my body healed, I started to think about how I will live instead of how I will die. Before that, I always thought about death and dying. I wanted to end my life. But this incident made me realize that I want to live. I didn't want to die anymore. However, I didn't want to just leave. I wanted to be happy. After I decided to leave, I wasn't depressed anymore. For the first time in my life, I started to get the sense of what happiness is. So what's the secret to happiness in just eight months? I'll tell you now. When someone tries to commit suicide, a lot of people say things like, Think of the people you leave behind. 
but my psychiatrist, therapists, and parents had one common message. Do what makes you happy. I thought, that's right. We all have to do is what makes us happy. Somehow, through the bullying and isolation, I lost the meaning of happiness. But now I know wealth, fame, and power are meaningless without happiness. When things are hard, happiness seems out of reach. But happiness is closer than you think. After coming to this realization, I was able to take my first step. Soon, I began to walk again. I was released from the hospital. I thought happiness would knock on my door, but it never did. My idea of happiness changed, but my behavior didn't. One day, I happened to be playing with Legos. I felt happy. I realized you can find happiness everywhere. You just have to find it. Think about what you like and do it. If you don't know what you like, try something you haven't tried. I didn't know what makes me happy because I was just doing what was expected of me. The Lego sparked something inside of me. I knew I had to do something. I made my bucket list. I was 18 years old. I wrote things that might make me happy on my little notes. I put them in a plastic bowl and picked one randomly. I didn't want to wait until I was old to make my bucket list. I almost died once. I want to do something with my life. So one by one, I completed items on my list. I watched musicals, I tried poetry, I tried drawing, I even tried making a sculpture. I was discovering myself and the things that make me happy. After a while, I got the courage to do more challenging things and ran in a 10-kilometer marathon. I didn't know it, but I was healing inside. Doing what you like isn't enough, though. You have to stop what bothers you. I had a high GPA in school, but I felt I had to quit and focus on me. Keeping on my grades and toxic relationships at school were holding me back. I felt it was the right things to do. I could have gone to a good university, but I gave up. I knew I had to live in the present instead of focusing on the future to be happy. But I was alone and isolated again. So I called 1388. It's a helpline for teenagers. They introduced to me Osanshi Kumdurim. Kumdurim is a community that has a system to help out teenagers who don't go to school. I didn't know that there was a community to help people like me. I got help in ways I never expected. I didn't think it would be possible, but I'm happy for the first time in my life. I made true friends at Kundurim. I didn't know that I could make true friends. However, Kundurim brought hope back into my life. If you're unhappy and desperate, you are not alone. Help is closer than you think. But you have to reach out and get it. If you look around, there are organizations or communities that help out people who are in need. If you're getting bullied at school, there is a special hotline, 117. They got your back. I'm just an ordinary girl. I don't have any special ability. But I could become happy. And today, I'm on this stage to tell you, you can do it too. Do you want to be happy? Don't think it's difficult. All you need to do is eliminate what makes you unhappy and live in the present. I did, and I'm happy now. Thank you for listening.